Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've selected a composer, sometimes from the past, sometimes from the present, that's had a role to play both with Vocal Essence and Plymouth Church. Today, it's the American composer Lena McLinn. Lena, born in 1928 and still with us, living in Chicago. She is an African-American composer, a teacher, an author, and since 1982, an ordained minister. Her big role in teaching was in the Chicago Public Schools, where she taught for 36 years. She was an important and effective voice for music education in Chicago. And a lot of arrangements of spirituals were done for the Chicago Public Schools. At age five, she went to live in Chicago with her uncle, Thomas Dorsey. And of course, what Dorsey did in terms of church music and spirituals reflected in the work of Lena McLinn. She went to Spelman College and then in Chicago to the American Conservatory. She's composed more than 400 cantatas, masses, choral pieces, solos. One of them, of course, is the piece called Down by the River, which I think will give you just an idea of the effective but yet simple way that Lena McLinn could set a spiritual. It was in 2004 that I invited Lena McLinn to come to Minneapolis for the annual Witness concert of Vocal Lessons at Orchestra Hall. She did come. It was February. She wore, I still remember, her very beautiful mink coat, black mink coat. And uh, she played the piano. She talked about her music. Um, and, and she, of course, is a legend in the whole idea of setting spirituals. Another one that she did was called, Can't You Hear Those Freedom Bells Ringing? And uh, again, uh, she says, I love her instruction for it. It just says, lively, spirited, but with a bounce. So you get that feeling. This one comes from a cantata that she wrote called Free at last. Here's a bit of Lena McLean. She also, as I mentioned earlier, has composed many pieces for the Chicago Public Schools. One of them was a piece called Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. You can just imagine these young students being given the opportunity of a new piece written for them. And this one was done with a choir of hundreds of young high school people singing Glory, Glory, Hallelujah.
Have a wonderful day.